um, we're in the greenhouse today due to the inclement weather and hopefully there won't be any we uh, weeds, any wind to uh, disturb what I'm saying. This is where I overwintered the um, dahlias last year. Um, you can leave them in the ground and cover them with straw or keep them warm but I've never found it very successful. So I bring mine in, I dig them all up, um, separate them, split them and put them in here with some compost or ash and overwinter them um, and then put them out again in the, after the frosts are finished. At the moment I've got tomatoes and one courgette in here now. This is my dahlia patch. Um, it's just coming into flower. I uh, put these out about two weeks ago and they're coming out in flowers. I'll be able to start picking them soon. I grew the dahlias um, in a patch like this from seed. Um, they're two years old now, so hopefully they'll keep going for a few years yet. Um, I have a dahlia patch because when I was a little girl, I used to go to my Aunt Annie's, who I think was my grandma's sister, and I just always remember her having a beautiful dahlia garden. I must have been under 10, um, and my mum always coming away with a bunch of dahlias, so I'm trying to emulate Aunt Annie's uh, dahlia patch. So today I'm going to grow some seeds. I got a bag of compost and I just use the cheapest. I don't go for anything fancy. Um, I think this is somebody Jack's. Jack's magic, but it's working for me. I had to get it by um, delivery due to the lockdown because I've not been out at all. And I've actually had to buy expensive seeds normally i get them from the pound shop or collect them from plants myself um, or um, people gift them to me or i get them when i go to garden shows but this cost me 10 pounds which i'm a bit grieved at actually so they are dahlias which if you read the packet should have been in by um may at least end of may March, April, May, February, March, April, by the end of April. Um, but they'll, they'll take, they'll grow. So I'm going to put them in the trays and I just chuck them in. I don't put them in lines or anything fancy, I just throw them in. So I've got dahlias, different types of dahlias, and I've got some zinnia. They're all beautiful for cutting. So, so I just fill my tray up with soil or compost. These are pom-pom dahlias, so they're very pretty, all different colours. So I don't know how many seeds there are in here. Um, can't see. Probably 40. Should have brought my glasses down with me. So I just sprinkle them on. You can buy vermicide, another product. I don't know what it does, but I don't bother. I just cover them with a bit more compost, and then later I'll um, water them. And then I'll show you how they're going on in a few weeks' time. I will label them. Lost my pen. I will label them later. Um, I usually know what they are when they come up. Um, but just in case, I'll put a little label on them. And I'll put them into one of the trays around here. And as you can see, there's lots of other things growing in here that mostly have been grown from seed so we'll put these over here I think actually that's probably fall through 
on that bin for now. So there we go. And I'll do the other trays as well. And uh, as I say, I'll water them, keep them moist. And hopefully, um, in a few weeks' time, we'll have some little um, plants come up and we can see what we do with them, either put them into pots or get them ready to go out in the garden. I think that's it for today. So short and sweet. Hope you've enjoyed it in my garden. It's not raining actually, so it's very nice. So I'll speak to you soon.